I'm so excited for this one. I I don't even know where to begin. Hello. Welcome back to another YouTube video. My dad is going to hammer outside while I start talking to you. If you can hear that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he stopped quickly. Welcome back to another YouTube video. I am very excited if you, oh, my lighting's gone. If uh, you've been at my channel or see my banner, you know that my channel focuses on just my life, what I'm doing every day or randomly um, and I love travel obviously lifestyle and fashion and this video is all about travel technically I'm not going overseas or going away for the weekend but I am doing something that is exciting and that is it's technically technically a sport but technically also recreational and I, I kind of think of it as like travel kind of thing but all right I'll, I'll do this and then I'll tell you what I'm doing I'm going scuba diving. <laughs> that was very awkward. But yeah, I, I'm going scuba diving. I am actually doing my open water SSI scuba diving course. And for those of you that don't know, scuba diving, you know, the open water course is for anyone that just wants to start scuba diving, wants to get into it. It's a three day course that you can just start and just get into it. I've been wanting to do this for years. I actually signed up to do it in March of 2020. And we all know how that went. So now it's what, April 2022? And I'm finally here. I'm finally going scuba diving. I'm going, so I'm going tomorrow on the first day. It's going to be across two weekends. I will be, tomorrow is, the first half of the day is in Cheltenham doing half day uh, theory based in the classroom. And the second half of the day is in the pool. So I'm going to have to get to pack with me. We're going to have to pack. And everything and then the next weekend which is the next following saturday and sunday is two days shore dive sorry mum and dad are just outside i'm gonna move in closer because i feel like i'm just like leaning uh two shore dives so i don't know whether that's just i'm, I'm assuming that's just like walking into the ocean and then swimming not like going maybe going off a pier i'm not sure and then the following day which is the sunday we do two boat dives <laughs> excited I've had to do all coursework there is something in my eye I'm super super excited I thought I'd take you along the journey with me and just you know I finally get to do something travel related that isn't going overseas but I'm super excited so I've finished all my coursework which is uh, six units through the SSI which stands for SSI scuba schools international Ow, there's really something in my eye. Mm. Oh. Ah. Yes, so it's through Scuba, Scuba Schools International. Three day course, entry level. And then if I want to go beyond that, I can keep doing courses and I obviously will keep scuba diving. I, you know, I'm not going to be scuba diving every single weekend, but I hope to at least scuba dive a couple times a year and then progressively do more scuba diving. My ultimate goal is to go diving amongst like shipwrecks and just to see that. I think that's really amazing. And then I would also love to free dive where you don't dive with all the oxygen tanks on your back with like whales. Oh, we're not focused. Focus. There we go. But yeah. I'm so ah. But yes, I had two. I'll show, actually, I'll show you what I bought. Okay, so this is everything I bought. I've just dumped it on my bed. So first up, I've got uh, some booties. These are just for like grip and everything. Obviously, they keep your feet really warm. I know that your head, your hands, and your feet are where your heat comes out most. So you need these. And obviously, like they have like really good grip and everything. For protection and then these slip into my flippers I bought all this brand new and these will hook in like on my feet 
with that little thing behind and hook in there. Lovely. That, I was really, I really wanted all black. I didn't really want much color. So yeah, and then I've obviously got my scuba snorkel. Really little cute little thing that I have already cleaned and scrubbed. I had to scrub three times with, oh, where's the stuff? Where is it? It came in this like portable container, which I was told to drill two little holes into so that the snorkel can breathe, I think. You can see me, hello, hello there. Yeah, breathe or like not fog up as much. Uh, yep, yeah. and then inside, if I can do this one-handed, not very well, I was about to say I have skill. There we go. It's the lovely Kristen um, gave me the Sea Drops Anti-Fog, which obviously when you're snorkeling, get, obviously it fogs up, so they just pop in two drops of this and rub it all in. And then this one, which I was just telling you about, is the Sea Buff, which I cleaned my mask with. So your masks, when they're manufactured, come with like this film on them. And so dropping this stuff off and cleaning it, I did it like three times. We'll hopefully get most of that off and it won't be terrible to look through. And last but not least, I got a snorkel because you need a snorkel to breathe when you're on the surface or near the surface so you don't use up all your oxygen. But yeah, that is the basics of what I've purchased. It cost me a total of $350. I didn't have, well, we do have some snorkel stuff at home, but nothing good quality that'll last. And they're bright pink. And they're from when we were kids. Still would fit, but like, if I'm going 15 meters underwater, I didn't really want some just like crappy ones. I wanted some good stuff that'll last me, and especially if I'm going to be doing it, hopefully for a long time. She's gonna go. We're gonna be good. So, let's show you what I've been doing. So, I have been. Look at my cute little candle, by the way. Oh my god, is it gonna stay? I don't know. It's like, I'm gonna think I'm gonna have to hold this cause I had to, oh, I had to like shave the bottom to make it fit in. I feel like I'm, what is it? The creature, like, no, it's from like Christmas movie and he's like, but yeah, it's all cute. It was just from Ikea. I'll link it in the bio. It's so pretty. But yes, I've just been on my computer. I didn't done the course. Yep, I can wanna, if I just show you, da 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 da. She's loading. Oh, and you keep on focusing. Obviously, this is the card. congratulations, I have finished. But if I, I've just, I've gone through it all. It's got your instructions, your six sections, body in the aquatic environment, using your life support equipment underwater, breathing gas and the effects on your body, the value of dive buddy, the ocean and your diving opportunities and yada yada. So I've done through that. I've done all the exam questions. Obviously they've got like history and stuff and it's really fascinating like how long snorkeling has been going on for. And it's just like all that and it's got cute little, it's got cute little like info videos. So what I'm doing now, even though I've passed everything, what I've got to do is, no, what I'm choosing to do is take notes. I'm going back through my coursework and I'm just like writing just notes so that I have this forever and I don't have to go right back. No basic stuff. Like I obviously will go back through and look through the course because it's full of stuff that obviously my brain can't take in every single little bit right now. But yeah, just like stuff, information about like wetsuits, like what type of wetsuits are for what temperatures. A seven millimeter is meant for 10 degrees to 16 degrees. So on and so forth, boring stuff for you, but interesting for me. So I'm gonna keep going with as much as I can note down. And hopefully I can learn everything. They're playing with the netting. Yeah. What I'll also tell you is I had to get a diver medical completed. So I had to take a questionnaire to my doctor and have her fill that out with me and do a couple of tests, very simple stuff to see if I was eligible to do scuba diving. Obviously, some people can't do scuba diving based on health issues or health history, or I know you can't scuba dive if you're pregnant and other things like that. But I was good to go. 
I was good to go and that's all been handed in to the guys and we're yeah. So now I'm just gonna get on with this and I'll see you in a tick. Day one classroom pool dive, Sunday 3rd of April 2022, 9am, starting at the Adreno Melbourne Dive Centre. Please don't be late. Oh, it doesn't actually say, okay. Portland checklist. Online training is fully completed. Done that. Bathers and towel for all pool and ocean sessions. Done that. Got my diver medical. Done that. I must be able to swim 200 meters without stopping. I can do that. Using any strokes I want to. I must be able to float or tread water for 10 minutes using any methods you want. What other methods can I use other than to float? Like, are there multiple methods to floating that I don't know? And then I'll be told the exact location based on weather choices for our other two for our other two days afterwards okay well i think that's everything i'll just pack like normal things like i need to pack underwear and shoes and then i need to find a bag that this can all go into oh. so i will see you all tomorrow i will film as much as i can i do not know if i'll actually be able to film anything underwater because obviously I'm meant to be there learning. I'm not meant to be, um, you know, it is a dangerous thing. So I don't need to have another distraction. But if I'm able to, like maybe on the third day, we'll see. I'd love to be able to film at least a tiny bit of it. Or even me, have someone film me jumping into the water. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, good morning. I'm so excited. Oh my, oh my God. I'm here, I'm at Adreno, just in Cheltenham. What time is it? It's, I think it's 8.30. Yeah, it's 8.30. Uh, so I'm here like half an hour early. I wanted to be here 15 minutes early, but the traffic was easy breezy. Right now it's a bit busy. Yes, I'm here, here for the first day. I don't think I'll be able to film a lot, but I'm excited anyway. And I've got my rains bag full of stuff. I go in Copenhagen and then I got and I feel like I'm in oh what's the movie The Parent Trap because all my scuba stuff is in this really yellow bag Blah. anyway and I will update you later oh my god I sorry I didn't get to film any of today but I just, I, oh, I flicked this up a little bit. I am all wet. My hair is all wet. I've just finished the first day of my scuba diving course. Oh my God. I need to eat because I'm starving. I haven't eaten. First, first, first day. Anyway, I'll eat, I'll get driving and I'll tell you while I'm driving because it is, it's 4.30 and I want to get home. So I'll tell you while I'm driving in a bit. Alrighty. All these girls are going to pass me, but that's fine. It was such a good day. It was only our instructor, Chris, two other people, a boy and a girl, and me. It was meant to be one other guy, but he didn't turn up for whatever reason. And it was just such a good day. We spent half the day, almost half the day, a little less than half the day, um, doing exam, the exam, which I passed. I'm so excited about. Anyway, yeah, which I passed the exam, and then we were showing around all the equipment and stuff. I'd already been fitted for my wetsuit and my BC, uh, which is your buoyancy uh, thingy. Excuse me. Um, and then, and then we went to the Noble Park pool, and we're doing just like learning different techniques. Um, 
like helping people with cramps, simple stuff, and then stuff like underneath water, taking off your marks, putting it back on, and bringing the water back out. Um, your regulator, which is what you breathe through, th having that being thrown away and having to get it back, and then having, which, and we were all really good at that. We were like on time, like being like bam, 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 awesome. Sorry, also I, I have been going obviously in and out of chlorine all day. I'm a bit like red faced, my eyes are a bit like, but we were really good at that. And then we had to go up and back in the pool, like at the right buoyancy. I struggled a bit with that. My, for some reason I just couldn't seem, but I, I've passed everything, but like that's something that I need to work on is my buoyancy. Um, what else did we learn? Just lots of other things. Um, one thing he did get us to trial was um, if we lose our weights, waist band, so we get a whole lot of waist, weights, not waist, weights put on our weight, waist, metal weights that are heavy. They put on your waist, on your hips, so that they can weigh you down. That, <laughs> if that falls off or like you have to take it off, but then you want to get it back on, how you can get it back on, like, cause it's really hard. So he made us like swim down to it, with everything on and then we had to grab it and full body twist it body roll whilst trying to get it on and I got it like I was able to do the body twist I got it there and then <laughs> I just couldn't get it to clip up and he's like you need to work on your right to the left because I told you to start with your right and you started with your left and it's just each time I was just like go with my left so yeah I need to work on my buoyancy and I need to work on my rights and lefts but I know about my rights and lefts because if you learn to drive and you were always doing this, yeah. But anyway, so now I have to go back in on Thursday and Friday and pick up my gear, pick up two um, gases. I've got to pick up two um, tanks of oxygen. We were good on our oxygen too. And then we're going to Blairgarry, which if you don't know, it's like, on the Mornington Peninsula in Australia, in Melbourne. But he said there's massive stingrays, manta rays, or whatever they are, and like hopefully we could get like see all the colorful fish, but also see the start of the spider crab or like crab migration. I'm like, oh my god, what have I been doing all my life? This is just amazing. I feel like crying. It was just, and I only did it in the pool. And there are just cars going past me and I kind of don't want to be like chatting to the camera while the cars are going past me. But it was so good. It was, and he's so, he's funny and he's so nice and like, yep, you got this and like, yep, go, cool. And we're doing all the hand signals underwater. That means okay. That actually means go down. That means go up. Yada, yada, yada. But what he did say halfway through, he gave us weights. He's like, this will be your GoPro. So people take cameras on, on, um, Know, diving trips and film everything so you're gonna try with this if only one of us had one I was like I have one it's in my bag he's like why didn't you bring it out I was like oh I read that some people don't like when you're filming on lessons he's like I don't mind but it, it was too late for me to go and grab it then so I will get to film for my other dives oh my god oh my god I'm so excited I hope you're excited and I, I'm gonna stop recording now, but I will see you on Saturday. I'm so excited. Bye.
Good morning, we're at Blair Gary this morning. I just went down to the beach and took some shots, but you can kind of see from here, it's so nice. And then behind us, you've got all the local pretty houses, the massive beach houses that get busy as in the summer. But yeah, today is Saturday, the following Saturday from the pool dive. I need to move so you can see me. It is the, the 9th of April? Yeah. So yeah, today we're doing the two shore dives and earlier in the week I went to Adreno and picked up my stuff, which I might actually show you. I might just grab my phone. Do I have my keys on me? Yes. I want to lock myself out. So here we are. All the stuff. So I have my own personal backpack. And then here we got the BC, which is your buoyancy control thing. Like your like a vest kind of thing that helps you and you inflate it and stuff and everything's got weights and stuff. Uh, normally has the built-in weights, but I have the normal weights, sunscreen, which I need to do before we go. My wetsuit. What else has it have in there? Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. And then I have my flippers and stuff in my yellow bag. Underneath the yellow bag, I've got my air tanks. See the top of them there. Put them in there. On there. Yeah. I need to get this back in. So excited. I get I've brought my oh this is just terrible. I brought my GoPro to film stuff, but I did research earlier in the week. I don't know if you can hear me because all the cars passing. I did research earlier in the week that it can only go down to like it, it was either 10 meters or 10 feet. So I need to double check because it's very different. But you can only go down. I'm going to be, if I obviously complete the course, which is will be the last day tomorrow. I'm assuming I will. Um, then it won't be able to go down the whole way because we can go down. We'll be able to train to, and certified to 18 meters down. Today we're going down, I think he said five meters. The first time we'll go down five meters and we in the pool we only went down two meters and I was already like, whoa. So holy shit, I'm excited. But yeah, I thought I'd show you and take you along. Let's go look at the ocean again because we can. Okay, we're that close. But yeah, this is kind of, yeah, it's just something that I've always wanted to do. I'm really excited and I don't know if I mentioned because I, you know, the last bit I vlogged was like over a week ago. Not over a week, just a week ago. Oh my, how pretty with all the boats. I actually don't know whereabouts we're going to be diving from. I don't know whether it's going to be from the pier, like at the end of the pier or something, down there, that bit. Or like if we're going to have to like walk in and then swim all the way out. We shall find out. I'm excited. I'm also nervous for people to turn up and see me vlogging. I already started to try vlog and then pick cars just kept rolling up and I'm just like, this isn't embarrassing or anything. But yeah, I'm just wearing some active wear and my bathers underneath. So I'll see you, update you as I go. Hello. As you can see, we're at home, which is not ideal because you were meant to be seeing videos of underwater. But got all suited up and everything, didn't film that. And I'm actually going to set it down. I've actually just washed all my stuff. There's the BC, my booties, the weights. I think that's the BC, I think. My wetsuit's on the washing line. And that over there. Yeah. Got there, got all suited up with the guys. Jumped in the water with my GoPro to film. Oh, this, I literally look like horrendous. But anyway. And I went down to the bottom uh, where we first jumped off at the pier. And turned on my GoPro and it was like SD card full. I was like, what? I checked it, it was fine. That's really weird. And then it, the, the on button was like flashing. I was like, why is it flashing? Like the on light. And then it just like wouldn't turn on properly and was like turning itself off and turning on and I was like oh it's just not working I'll just forget about it and I'll just I'll when we come back up after this dive and go back down again I'll film the next one 
So we went and did the dive, it was great, and I'll tell you about that in a second. But I came back up after the first dive and I looked at my GoPro, looked at the front and it's got the camera bit and then it's got a little screen that normally tells like it's recording and like what type of thing you're doing. And I just watched as water rose in that little bit and I was like, oh no, oh no. So now the GoPro is probably dead. I'll go find, I'll go show you, I'll go get it. Okay. I just got changed as well. But this is the camera. I don't know if you Look at that. Look at the water in there. That's in the. I can hear. Can you hear the water? I'm going to take the, Kate, the thing off. And I know it's not got a waterproof case on top of it, but I researched and it said this camera and I bought it so that it could go in water and I've taken it in water before and it was fine. All right, the water's only in, in this. I don't know how to get that out. Doing it on my legs would not be good. But anyway, if, it, if anyone knows, if anyone knows where I can take a GoPro to even be looked at, I don't know, like, it'd be sad if I went and bought... <laughs> mm, I really reckon it is stuffed. It is not even turning on. Oh my god, even like the light, like, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can just say, there's a little, that is the light that like flickers when it turns on. It even looked like that has, has water in it. <laughs> and it's all bad. Oh well. <sighs> I wasn't planning on going scuba diving like in the next like week, so. <laughs> Sad, but. Oh. <laughs> just look at the bubbles. Look at that. Wow, if any of you are camera people, I'm sorry. I'm just an embarrassment. I've already, I broke this camera even, and I just got it back. So yeah, if you know anywhere that I can, might be able to take a GoPro to see if it can get fixed. It makes me sad even looking at it. I don't want to even look at it. I'm going to turn it around so I don't have to see. But anyway, yeah, camera didn't work. However, the other guy that came he has a, has a GoPro, he just didn't take it down. He's gonna hopefully film to, a little bit tomorrow, so I might get a, a little bit of his film to even show you like what what I'm doing. Maybe I'll be in it. That would be kind of cool if I'm, like you see me scuba diving rather than me like holding the camera and showing you what I'm seeing. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, I'll tell you about my experience. Today was really good, did the two short dives at Blake Gary, which is so much exciting. Yeah, jumped in. I actually was sitting on a starfish. Chris was like, okay, you settle down. You wait here. He was going to go help the other girl. I sat down there for like 20 minutes as he was helping and I was just like breathing happily. Just like, mm -hmm. there was nothing to see, but she was having issues. And then he came down and he was like pointed like underneath me and I was like on a massive starfish. And I was like, oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry, starfish. Yeah. And then we ended up starting to move and we saw little stingrays we saw a really big one a really really big stingray which is kind of cool he had no stinger though we saw a little like a stingray kind of shark like little thing this angle's terrible i'm also pale as but anyway we saw puffer fish and all beautiful different types of fish and all the coral like on underneath the pier was like so stunning like actually it was really brightly colored like a, a lot of it was brown but like there was bits that i was like wow that's bright orange like that's more orange than me <laughs> <laughs> and so we went all the way we got down to five meters but in the first dive like there must have been 20 other scuba divers there were so many and it was like a highway like there were so many of us at one point there was someone else being taught how to scuba dive he kind of like stopped right in front of me as i was trying to follow my guide on the other side of him and he was like looking at me like what what and i was like like underneath the water like um i need you to move i was going that way and you just happened to stop right then so you're not moving and just other fun things <gasps> oh my god okay so my this which is my bc how you can see how it like oh the grass is all wet see how it like so this folds in this is this is on your back and then you've got your top straps so this folds over 
and this is where your weights that I had before underneath my feet go in so that you can be weighed down but this goes over this velcros over this buckles in and then obviously your straps get pulled down and you get pulled tight so that was all there for some reason this velcro I can't remember what it's called and the buckle came undone while I was swimming underwater and I didn't realize but what I was like I was like what's going on like my oxygen tank is like going up near my head and my uh, like other thing is like going on in your head and I can't put my head back and like I feel like like this is just so loose and I'm like it wasn't this loose in the pool I don't know what's happening and so I pulled on my buddy's leg on her fin to be like hey I need help and she kind of turned around and looked at me and then just turned back around and kept swimming and I was like what <laughs> hey and so I was like well all right I'm just gonna swim past her then and go straight to the um, uh, instructor and I was like, hey, and I stopped him and then he turned right round at me and um, was like, oh shit, and like helped me put it all back together. And when we got to the surface, my buddy was like, I am so sorry, I am so sorry. When you pulled my fin and I turned round, there was a starfish right next to you and I thought you were pointing to look at the starfish. And I was like, oh cool, and then turned around and kept swimming. And then I saw you swim past me and I thought, what? wow, she's really liking that starfish. She wants to go show our guide who's done 5,000 dives. And then she saw that oh, my whole thing had undone and she's like I am the worst buddy to be paired with oh my god and I was like it's fine we're all brand new but I was a bit like why did you turn around why did you just what <laughs> so it was so funny but I had a great time oh my god I saw so many things the second dive wasn't as good just because all the other divers had been through and like kicking up all the sand and obviously it was a bit later and all the wildlife well there was bits of wildlife that's still there but a lot of like the rays had been like yeah now we're leaving there's too there was just so many other divers but yeah so now we have to i think i got a text from chris tomorrow we're meeting for our two boat dives at port c by six we have to be there at 6 15 because we're going to be there an hour before we have to get on the boat just to be able to like, gear up and go through everything so i have to get up at like i'm going to leave wait if i do maps Port, no, that's not how you sell port. See, pier. Directions. It's gonna take me 45 minutes, but if I change it to leave tomorrow and arrive by, I'm gonna go to 6 a.m. <laughs> I have to leave at quarter past five. I have to leave at quarter past five. I'm gonna have to get up at like, I'm gonna have to get up at like 4.30. It's an early morning and I look, I already look so tired. Cause this is me without tan and makeup and well, but that's okay. Cause I had such a good time. I'm gonna, it's gonna be a day. I'm excited, but yes, I will see you all tomorrow at 4.30. morning <laughs> it's terrible lighting and I look so bad but what time is it it is six o'clock in the morning I got up at 4 30 what was that noise I don't know what that noise was um yeah I got up at 4 30 oh I wonder if that's the guys um because it had took me 50 minutes to get here but I had to like pack all my stuff into my car and stuff and I've got breakfast now because I did not want to eat at 4 30 <laughs> um but yeah oh, I have to take my sunscreen I haven't put any sunscreen on um and now we're going for our boat dives I thought I'd just jump in here and say hi just in case I didn't get to say hi before I got back but yeah and my hair is so curly from yesterday and it, I, I had even tied it up like for like most of the afternoon after we finished it about midday so and I yeah obviously met up with Bernie afterwards but yeah I'll see you in a bit <laughs>
finished up the whole course and officially a officially a registered a open water scuba diver to 18 meters step into the shade which is really exciting oh my god today was really great did the two down to 18 meter dives and saw loads unfortunately one of the girls that was doing it with us couldn't equalize i couldn't get the bubbles out of her ears so i had to go back up for the dives i just can't believe i'm finished i have already and hopefully i'll get to go again next week because she is going to have to go back and try and redo them so also this i just took my hair out this is my hair oh, all wet but yes thank you for joining along hopefully i'll have added in the extra bits of video that the other guy took literally he was just videoing me and everything else which is kind of good for my vlog that it's going to be actually see me in the water rather than me filming and to take you on another video next thursday honestly it just feels like every single week i've got something exciting happening so thank you for joining i hope it wasn't too choppy it was a bit choppy in the ocean for me but this is the ocean now go I'm gonna go home return all my stuff tomorrow and I'll see you next week because I'm a certified scuba diver Bye.